Whatever you do, don't break down, don't panic, and please don't cry. Hi everyone, welcome to Tiny TV, where I bring the classroom to you. I'm Hannah John, and today I'm going to talk about what you should do if your paper gets rejected from a peer-reviewed academic journal. Stay tuned! A while back, I had an Ask Me Anything session on Instagram, and one of you asked me a great question about what you should do if your paper gets rejected from an academic journal. I provided some kind of initial feedback and a short outline of what I would do if I was in your shoes, but today I wanted to expand on that a bit more in this video. Again, if you're a master's student, and certainly if you're a PhD student, you should definitely be thinking about publishing your research, so hopefully you'll also check out my other video about potentially co-authoring with your professors. Now before we actually get started with what you should do if your paper is rejected, let's go over the evaluation scale. So four different types of outcomes are possible after you submit your paper to an academic journal. This is accept with no revisions, accept with minor revisions or pending minor revisions, reconsider or accept pending major revisions, and then just an outright reject. So what do you do after all of your hard work has been kind of poured into <laughs> this paper and you get a reject? Kind of evaluation from an academic journal. Well, the first thing you should do, and I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, was don't dwell on the rejection. The reason I say this is because it's not constructive, it's not helpful for you, and even if you're a crier and need to release through tears, oftentimes I think that that kind of defeats the purpose even of the evaluation process. It's not saying that they reject you as a person, but this paper might not be a good fit with this journal, or there might need to be significant improvements to be made before they can consider it again, whether at this journal or another one. So all the reviewers comments should be taken with not just a grain of salt but I think with appreciation because you have other scholars in the field who have taken time to review your paper and also to provide comments on what they think worked well and more importantly what they think could be improved. So when I say get started again, again this is going to lead into the second thing that you should do and this is to have a kind of sober reflection or an objective kind of view of what went well in your paper and what didn't go so well. I mentioned before that you should think of reviewers as kind of trusted colleagues. Again, there are scholars in this field who are there and taking time out of their own very busy schedules to give you feedback about your paper. So we're very appreciative of their comments. Sometimes you might not agree with their comments, but many times they provide you know, insights that are actually very helpful for you in improving your paper. Another way to think of reviewers is also as goalkeepers. Again, they're trying to preserve and uphold the integrity and the rigor of this academic journal. And so only the quality papers, the ones that fit those criteria and you know, would be very beneficial to the readership would be allowed to go through. A lot of helpful comments that I've received in the past have been with regards to the literature review, but certainly also when it comes to day 10 methods, is this the most appropriate methodology to answer this particular research question? So if you can reflect helpful comments in your paper, this will help improve your paper so that even if it's rejected for this particular journal, you can submit it to another journal and hopefully with greater chances of getting accepted. During this part of kind of a sober reflection on the paper and the comments that you've received from reviewers, another helpful tip here is to try to talk with your co-authors if you have one. If you don't have a co-author, then you can cry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, but if you're a student, master's or PhD student, you should definitely reach out to your academic advisor or any professor who might be well kind of versed in this field. And as I mentioned in a previous video, it's actually quite helpful if you work with one of your professors or more on your paper, not just for the writing process, but the submission process, and also how you go about reflecting comments for your paper. So please do take a look if you haven't. The third thing I would do if your paper is rejected is resubmit your paper as quickly as possible to another journal. It's much easier to resubmit this paper to another journal if you're in the zone thinking about your paper and reflecting on reviewers' comments. It takes, I, I think, a lot of steam away and a lot of energy away that's really needed to drive the paper to get published at another journal if you kind of, you know, take an extended period of time to look at the paper. Please make sure that you follow all of the formatting preferences and styles that are required for the next journal and yes. Submit it right away. The last thing I would suggest is to eat something nice. <laughs> I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, but what I don't want you to do is to feel that you're in a position where you feel you have to punish yourself because you didn't get your paper accepted. Now certainly I eat something nice, especially when I get my paper accepted at a great journal, but I also do the same just to make sure that, you know, encouraging myself, telling me it's okay. And you also do need that energy to get prepped for the next submission. Take a deep breath get some energy, get excited for the research process again, and yes, you'll be fine. 
So I hope this video maybe cheered you up or encouraged you a little bit, especially if you perhaps had a paper that was rejected at an academic journal. It's not the end of the world. It's just one step in the process. I think some of your professors are much easier or nonchalant about this because they've been rejected <laughs> many times in the past, or at least they've learned not to take that personally. If you have any questions about the academic writing process, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time here on Tidy TV, bye.